Plant Variety Protection Act by Christian Cardona. The Plant Variety Protection Act of 1970 is an intellectual property statute in the United States. The PVPA gives breeders up to 25 years of exclusive control over new, distinct, uniform, and stable sexually reproduced or tuber propagated plant varieties. Its intent is to encourage the development of new plant varieties. PVPA protections. It is unlawful, unlawful to sell or grow a PVPA protected variety without the permission of the PVPA certificate holder. Developer of seed variety has two options of protection under PVPA. Option one, developer can sell either certified or uncertified seed of the variety. Option one does allow for certificate holders to, gr to grant third parties the right to use variety for either a royalty or for free. Option two, called the certification only option, utilizes the title V of Federal Seed Act. Seed can only be sold if it is certified. Selling uncertified seed violates the certificate holders' rights, federal law, and state law. Violations will be able to be prosecuted under federal and or state law. Most people choose option number two. Basic provisions. There are four requirements. First, it must be new in the sense that propagating or harvested material has not been sold or otherwise disposed for, of for purposes of exploitation more than one year in the United States or more than four years in any foreign jurisdiction. Second, the variety must be distinct, that is, clearly distinguishable from any other publicly known variety. Distinctness may be based on one or more identifiable morphological, physiological, or other characteristics including commercially valuable characteristic affecting activities such as milling and baking. Third, the variety must be uniform in the sense that any variations are describable, predictable, and commercially acceptable. Finally, the variety must be stable in the sense that the variety, when reproduced, will remain unchanged with regard to its essential and distinctive characteristics within a reasonable degree of commercial reliability. A plant variety certificate gives the breeder the right to exclude others from selling the variety or offering it for sale or reproducing it or importing it or exporting it or using it in producing a hybrid or different variety. Exemptions. First, the PVPA's provision safeguarding the public interest in wide usage allows the United States Department of Agriculture to declare an otherwise protected variety open on the basis of equitable remuneration to the owner. Upon a finding that no more than two years of compulsory licensing of a protected variety is necessary in order to ensure an adequate supply of fiber, food, or feed, and that the owner is unwilling or unable to meet public demand at a price which may be reasonably be deemed fair. Second, the PVPA's research exemption declares that the use of reproduction of a protected variety for plant breeding or other bona fide research shall not constitute infringement. The third exemption permits a farmer to save seed from protected varieties and to use such saved seeds in the production of a crop without infringement. The PVPA and International Law The Plant Variety Protection Act represents the United States' effort to comply with the UPOV or the International Union for the Protection of New Varieties of Plants, an international treaty concerning plant breeders' rights. The PVPA likewise constitutes part of the United States' compliance with the trade-related aspects of intellectual property rights annex of the World Trade Organization Treaty, also known as TRIP.
IPS. Thank you.